So will Halo Infinite lead the charge for Xbox multiplayer games in the future? I ask that because it just feels like it's setting up not only the future of Halo, but depending on how things go with this game, the future of Xbox multiplayer as a whole, at least for the foreseeable future. And one example I think of is Gears 6, because it's now been two years since Gears 5 came out. I still have yet to play it. I'm gonna play it, at least the campaign. Uh, anyone who's done research on the game knows it hasn't had the best life since launch, and there was all sorts of things that were not very good about it, so it's interesting to see where that next game is gonna go with that particular series, and I wonder, is it gonna go down the same route as Halo Infinite, where it's going to be this free-to-play, live-service sort of title for the next 10 years, if that, that is, if they actually stick to the 10-year plan, considering it wouldn't be the first time that a game decided to scrap plans of 10 years after only three, <coughs> Destiny, <laughs> but you know how it goes. Um, will Bungie's legacy of scrapping ideas, oh, did I just say that? The, the cough was supposed to hide that, but we'll, we'll include this bit anyways. Is that, is that spirit gonna potentially carry on into Infinite and future titles? If not, could Infinite end up being basically the benchmark game for future Xbox titles? Like, it, it, could this happen with the next Forza, for example, as well as, other upcoming games that haven't been revealed yet. I don't know, maybe even single player games? Like who knows, maybe they'll reveal Hellblade 2 has a multiplayer mode which will be supported for the next 10 years or so. I mean either way, all these games are going to be free to get regardless of what they do because of Game Pass. So I guess they aren't completely free, but you know, if you only take the whole $10 a month fee into consideration, then yes, they are free because that's a lot of value. That is a lot of value. Game Pass is good. I, I felt it was worth bringing up just now. But yeah. Uh, wh what do you guys think? Is Halo Infinite going to be the benchmark? Is it going to set the standard for Xbox titles going forward? Or is it just a thing for Halo only? Or do you think it's just a general gaming thing with live services? Which, I mean, you know, we don't got enough of those already. <laughs> And keep in mind, anything that I bring up as an example, I don't say that as a good or bad thing particularly, I, I just bring it up as an example. Like, this could happen if this ends up being the case. So, d don't take my words at face value because I am simply a man on the internet saying things on a camera, or to a camera in this instance, which will then proceed to be viewed by people in public on the internet. The, the e-viewings will proceed to come in for this video once it is uploaded. So, nothing else to say here, just a really short video which I know that's been a bit of a thing lately with recent videos, but you know, when it comes to any video, I figure I'm, I should leave it as short as it needs to be, you know, don't drag it on for any longer than it has to, just, you know, here's a quick little thing for y'all to watch, which I mean, if it's short, it's short, if it's not, you know, it's not. And that's just how it is, so yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. You know, the usual of liking and commenting your thoughts below and subscribing and all that. Social media and all that. Nothing else to say, but that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.